gotta tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do I'd rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight But you didn't know me All you wanted was a game to play Beginning, I just didn't know That you're an enemy I held too close Now I know Cause you did everything to prove me wrong You were not the guy I thought Now I'm beating you <laughs> Hi Don't mind my hair I took a nap in the afternoon So it's looking kind of crazy And I was actually listening to something on my um yeah, but I'm not listening to it currently. Hi everybody. This is the beginning of a new vlog apart from the content that you saw earlier on. I feel like this is weird. Um, so it's been a rather fun weekend with my sister and my partner and blah, blah, blah. And uh, we had a great time and I am tired, but I took this weekend to kind of rest and not worry myself about filming any content or worry myself about committing to Vlogtober. Even though I do have quite a number of videos that are ready and waiting to go, but I took it easy this weekend. I was barely on social media. I just spent time with the people that I care about and that was everything for me. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, at the beginning of this weekend, on Friday, I think it was, yes, on Friday morning, I finished You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty. And let me tell you, I love Akweke and Mezi and I love their work. And I've always given them a five star for all the books that I've read. I've only just read two, Fresh Water and, and uh, The Death of Vivek Oji. And I've preached so much about The Death of Vivek Oji, I've talked to your ears off about that book because it's a masterpiece. However, however, this one I did not like. I rated it a two and a half out of five and I was being generous. I really didn't like this book. Um, we follow a young artist by the name of Faye who lives in Brooklyn and she's also a widow and she lost her husband five years ago. The book opens with Faye going out with her friend who also happens to be her housemate, Joy, and um, something happens when she's out. A very, what in the world? Okay, that's my humidifier. A very steamy scene happens. And um, already I found that steamy scene quite problematic for a number of reasons. However, I can't talk, that's, that's, that's just a spoiler. Um, and then going forward, she makes these really terrible decisions, bad decisions, where essentially, it revolves around her dealing with her grief, but dealing with it in a very negative light. She, if Akweke Emezi wanted us to dislike Faye, then they did a great job at ensuring that we dislike her because I did not like her. I did not like the fact that she made terrible decisions at the expense of her loved ones and people that she cares about. Um, and she justified it by romanticizing grief, right? She justified it by saying, oh, I've met this older man who's old enough to be my father. And we connected because we share a previous trauma surrounding grief, right? They lost the loves of their lives. And this is how they developed this steamy, wild love affair, which is wild to me. It seems completely unrealistic. And look, if you're going to have a, a, a relationship with an older man, sure, no one cares about that. I think my thing is that 
this older man also happens to be the father of a, a man who loved her, right? And and she didn't care. She did it anyway. And, and, and I was just like, where? In which alternate universe? So just because you meet this really wealthy man who also happens to have lost someone, and you guys have a conversation suddenly, you've made a connection in this, where? Um, so I found it, mm -mm. the only thing I can say is that it was impeccably written, as a Quakey Amezi does, it was impeccably written and there were a lot of um, highlighted points that I, you know, highlighted and all of that. Excellent, excellent sen sentences. Um, but didn't quite do it for me. I just couldn't get on with um, the story, the plot. I could not get on with how cringeworthy, cringeworthy the scenes were. Um, the only character I so much kind of liked was Joy, the friend. And I, that's it. That's pretty much it. Everybody else I couldn't care for. I really didn't connect with any of the characters. I extremely disliked Faye. And uh, yeah, I could not wait to finish it. I actually, at some point, stopped reading it with my eyes and just listened to it on audio because I just wanted to be done with it. Um, so yeah. That wasn't a great book. However, at the moment, I'm reading two books. And the first one is this one. And this one is for my book club, which is Brown Skin Reads. It's on Instagram. We're going to be doing quite a number of giveaways uh, for books on there. So if you are a reader, or if you like reading, or if you like to get into reading, maybe consider going onto the Brown Skin Reads uh, book club page. But right now we're reading a thriller and this is uh, Black Widow Society by Angela McCullough. And I've read The Blessed Girl from Angela McCullough and Critical But Stable, which I really want to reread as well. And this one is a first of mine. The people in the book club um, rated this one. And I really enjoy it. I'm 30 pages in. And I'm telling you, it's thriller, it's action, it's what, it's this. So the Black Widow Society is a society run by three women, uh, Tallulah, uh, Edna, and Gosazana. And they are the women who, are, who have established this organization that avenges <laughs> the errant husbands of, like, like women, right? And they avenge them in the sense that, you know, if these husbands are horrible to their women, if they cheat, if they domestic violence, all of that, they avenge their wives by, they, they, they take it upon themselves to avenge their wives by getting rid of the husbands, basically, you know? <laughs> And uh, wow, it's fast paced, it's really good. Right now, um, it's just pretty much story building. 30 pages in, there's really not much I can share. However, we, I have uh, know a little bit about Tulula, Nko Sazana, and Edna. And we've also been introduced to a number of other characters, Tami, um, China, quite a few other people. Um, including their hitman, they, 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 the, the guy that they hire to do all this work for them. And it's a secret society that only meets once a year and they just discuss finances, they discuss this, 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 and it's really rather interesting. It's, 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 it's jam-packed. The first 30 pages, I literally went like this. I read them in like 10, 15 minutes. It was so, so good. So. I'm really looking forward to reading this. This is what I'll be reading with my eyes. And, and yeah, during the week, it's just me at home. Work, school, life. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you guys for being here. And thank you guys for your consistent support of me. Let's get on with it. I'll speak to you guys probably tomorrow when I get back from work. To show you guys, there's a bit of an echo in my office, but I wanted to show you guys Every morning when I get to work, this is what I do. So I'll pour myself a cup of green tea, ice water with lemon because I like it. Okay, <laughs> just the normal. And by the end of my work day, I'll have had two of these, two of these, and tons of these. <laughs> 
it's just my life now. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> so I'm actually at work right now and I showed you my morning drinks and all of that. It's a few days later to what you saw, um, but I'll be recording a little bit of more vlog footage when I get home because there's stuff that I have to open up. Um, but I wanted to show you, because I go to school as well, I don't know where to look when it comes to my phone, but because I go to school as well, I um, always bring in my school books. So right now, on days where I'm not busy, I'll always bring in my school books so that I can uh, be a good kid. Hey, I can work, create content, work as in this work work create content work and go to school and still live <laughs> i don't know how i do it but anyway i'm gonna probably leave work in the next hour or two and i need to go get my brows done because i have an event to attend tomorrow which is friday and saturday so i'm not coming into the office tomorrow um and i'm really excited about that so that's gonna be a good time and um yeah sunday will be sunday is for lovers for me because i'm gonna be busy right throughout the weekend so yeah i'll talk to you guys a little bit later when i get home okay Good morning. <laughs> I'm running late. I am on my way to the YouTube shorts event and I wanted to show you guys quickly what I'm wearing. I look like a cool kid today and I love it. I love it for us. I love it for me. I look like a cool kid. They said come dressed in your most creative expression and here we are my darling. Okay, here we are. I've done my makeup. I literally have to be out of this house now. Now. I have to be out of this house, but I'm leaving. I'm going. Get Amaya. I just wanted to show you guys. I know that also pisses you guys off. Like, okay, why are you even vlogging if you're gonna leave the house? Listen, I'm leaving the house. Okay. I just wanted to show you the outfit of the day. Okay. Look at the girly. Look at the girly and her creative expression. Yes, honey. Why is it kill my chaining? And I love it. I love it. It doesn't fit the way I like jeans to fit for me, uh, stitching wise, but it's fine. Okay? For, for, for those cool days where you want to look like a cool kid, you know what I'm saying? Which is me looking like a cool kid. And I'm wearing uh, the sneakers that my, my, my friend that I that I share very personal private moments with got me. These are the, the diesel sneakers he got me recently. And I love them. So, that's... Man, what's up with you? What's up Yeah, man, how's it going? How's it going? Okay. I'm going to have to say something. And then, how's it going to say Show me. Show me. I'm going to say something. But then, how's it going to say That's when I'll talk to you guys. Okay? Because my ass is late. Yeah. I can't even wear it. Whoa, batum. Give it a Lizzie Specs. Okay, bye bye. Bye. I'm here. Okay. And I had to do a whole lot of <laughs> groveling to be where I am, but I'll talk about that later. Um so I'm here. I'm gonna make my way out. I'm ten minutes not early, but um early. <laughs> like am I saying? I am ten minutes early. Uh let's go, gents. Ne? Let's go. Relo, relo bona. Now I'm I, I'm not sure where I'm going. I know I'm looking for workshop 17, and I saw somebody's calling me. Somebody's calling me, and I don't like to answer calls. I don't know. Hey. Botata. I can I can I show workshop 17 you guy All right shop shop go one off it shop shop EP workshop 17 where to Oh easy you see I'm um, just it's a little bit weird because I don't know where I'm going Apparently there's there must be a workshop 17 around here this looks like offices, so let's go find out what in, where in the hell we are going. So, 
I've made it. I'm here. And uh, looks like it's about to be a good time, but uh, we, we, we're going to have to see how it goes. But um, just arrived. Uh, Pyle is also on her way, so we're going to um, check what this event is all about. Hey, let's have some fun, hey? So hey everybody, so we're finally here and uh, I've been dying to see what the event looks like. It's about to be a jam, baby. It's going to be a really good time and uh, we're going to be <laughs> experienced. So as I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying, we're here and it's about to be fire okay we're gonna have we're gonna have a great time we're gonna have a great time and i'm looking forward to seeing everybody and i'm waiting for my friend to arrive and there's a gentleman behind you guys he's taking a picture of me so i'm trying to find out you know just just trying to say whatever hi what, what you saying uh, you a mean? lot a lot just stuff it's so wild anyways <laughs> it was lovely chatting with you Okay, Bye. thanks. Bye. Thanks, lady. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> interesting um, and uh, I'm looking forward to learning more about shorts because I don't do much uh, YouTube shorts on my channel I, I really on my platform on my space so I'm really looking forward to learning uh, what it's all gonna be about and I'm excited about it um, I'm waiting for my friend Paella to come in because um, she's also on her way so I'm looking forward to seeing her um, she called me literally two minutes ago. She's here. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her and then we're probably gonna go in and she's she Is the queen of shorts. She does a lot of shorts. She knows how to do it She knows how the transitioning and all of that for me a short kind of feels like a reel so if I do a reel and then I do a short kind of you know one thing would go on the one platform and the same thing would go on the other platform, but I'm willing to learn more and I'm excited to learn more and um, it's just me here and everybody's been commenting about my glasses and legit these glasses got them from H&M um, and then the pants are from my Chining and then shirt as well and then the sneakers are diesel as I'd explained when I left the house so uh, yeah looking forward to it let me show you what I'm looking at I'm literally right across Mandela Square there, they, that's the Michelangelo right there. Sentence City is right over there. And this is, I'm assuming, the outdoor area. So this is where we're going to be chilling and hanging out and having drinks and afterwards food. Somebody was eating and they decided not to have their chips. So, yeah. Say hi to everybody. Mama, I made it! Thank you. 
Thank you.